Breakfast? Come and get it with Peter G'day. Russell G'day. Clark. Yes, he's a man who we've missed over the last fortnight. Peter Russell Clark, how the bloody hell are you? Mate, I'm, I'm on top of the world, so to speak, and your dear selves. Have you been doing anything exotic over the last fortnight? Uh, just, I ask, because uh, the doctor's just returned from a trip to New York City. Hmm. Hands down the front of my pants. That's about as <laughs> exciting as going to America. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I have been called a wanker for going to New York City, so that makes complete sense. I, f- I find it interesting, of course, uh, speaking of food, the, the, the vast differences in the language. I mean, there's not just the ounces and pounds versus the, the kilograms and everything. I prefer ounces and pounds, by the way. Really? Most certainly. Old school. Pounds, shillings and pence. <laughs> one foot, are you showing three your, inches. Are you showing your age here, Peter, or are you just oh, preferring no, this? Oh, no, bug it. You know, how dare some politician comes along and fucks it all up. <laughs> I and mean, I got to the stage I just understood what a chain or a root was. Mm. And I thought they were the same thing. <laughs> and it turned out that the Sheila slap and that was the end of that. <laughs> but, you know, you used to have roots and, and, and Did you? bushels and pecks and all that sort of I stuff. Have bushels. Have, have you been to uh, America and, and tried out some of the, the culinary fare? Yes, I have, actually. Um, m- my son lives in America, right. in oh. San Francisco. He works for Apple. Oh. And he's the chief designer, very clever young boy. Is that right? Yes. Well, Bloody hell, well done. There you go. Designs, all those sort of things. But I, I quite like America and I quite like their food style. I think that, uh, that serving water before you, uh, you get into the meal is a good thing because it, it gets rid of the hunger. Mm-hmm. And I think they're eating salads before they have an entree is mm-hmm. absolutely the right thing to do because salads are mainly water mm-hmm. again and that gets rid of your hunger so when you do get your proper food you're really wanting to to taste it rather mm. than gulp it down because you're starving. I did notice that in, in the restaurants we were in there was always someone employed at just to fill up water like even, yes. even if you, they can't actually get your order in because there's not mm. enough people serving there's always someone whose only job is to make sure your water glass is always full. It's a great gig. Yes, but we're fucked here. We've got no water. <laughs> That's no. exactly right. I was saying, can't cut down to that in Australia. So maybe they do it with piss, get a bit of beer into you. <laughs> <laughs> but what about all the problems with, uh, you know, instead of coriander, they have something called cilantro. For goodness oh, sake. I know, but that's wank. Um, th- you just, that's bullshit. They don't understand any of that sort of stuff. <laughs> Coriander's coriander. It is. What is Same this? as coming's coming. You know, if you, you're coming, bloody a. <laughs> you know, and of course, five minutes ago, I've only been pretending. And of course. <laughs> Peter Russell Clark, it is great to chat to you again. Of course, there is the humble shrimp as well, or as we call it here in Australia, the prawn. Yes, well, I think prawns are terrific. Um, I went out on a prawn trawler once with the ABC filming in South Australia, and I remember saying to the captain, is there enough room for the crew? And he said, yes, yes, yes. He meant his crew, I meant my bloody crew. <laughs> and so when we got on the boat, all got into our little bunks, and then five minutes later, the sailors tumbled in with it. was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what a holiday adventure you wouldn't forget. Mm. Look, we but might... You see, they catch the prawns, just very quickly, they yeah. catch the prawns, and then they cook them on board the bloody boat. And so mm. we end up... Uh, the consumer with cooked prawns and that's absolutely wrong if you're going to uh, eat prawns buy them green the green prawns and if you ask for green prawns don't be surprised that they're actually grey it just means that they're not orange if you've got all that yeah Fuck okay fine oh jeez hang on <laughs> okay well what are, if people want to whip out and grab a couple of green prawns and we'll take a listen to some music and come back and you can tell us how to cook them exactly all right you're on triple j Marie and the doctor on Triple J. If harsh language offends, tune out now because there's various words like f***, 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 balls, Staffordshire Terrier, coming up. Triple J. Yes, Peter Russell Clark back on board. Uh, and this morning we're talking about green prawns, green prawns. as opposed to cooked prawns. And as, and as opposed to shrimp, mm. which, uh, of course, everyone in America who knows that hilarious saying, throw another shrimp on the barbie, uh, which, uh, Shrimp boats are coming, their sails are inside. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry home, hurry, hurry, hurry home. Shrimp boats are coming, there's dancing tonight. Is that one of the songs that you sang when you were bunked down with the uh, the, shri- the, the prawn sales. crew? 
Exactly right. Yeah. You know what? We eat the flesh of the prawn, but we throw the shells away. What mm. we really should be doing is putting the shells in a, a pan with some water and boiling the bejesus out of them for about 20 minutes, and you end up with either a wonderful stock or a soup, if you wish, mm. bisque. And then if you want to, you can then just heat the prawns in that. But we don't. We chuck the shells away. But in China, let me tell you, they get the whole prawn, shell and all, and they chuck it into a wok of oil. But in that oil, they've put a handful of salt, and the salt intensifies the heat of the oil. And when you throw the prawn in, it the, the oil is so hot that the shell crisps like a potato chip. You pull it out straight away. The flesh inside that crisp uh, shell is uh, still um, pretty raw, really, is juicy. Mm. Absolutely bloody wonderful. And you eat the, the head, the tail, the whole bloody lot. It's a marvellous way so of So you wolf down the head, do you? Yes. And you don't do that thing where you pull the, uh, the spine and the, and the bum out? To get the digestive tract, well, yeah. uh, the, the heat is so intense that if, if there's any terrible thing in that digestive mm. tract, it would have been had the shit burnt out of it. So to speak. If you do want to take the digestive tract, uh, literally, if you want to take the digestive tract out, grab the centre of the poor bastard's tail mm. and twist it and then pull, and really all that happens is the tail comes off the digestive tract track stays in there. See, this, but, is why I eat, this is why I eat soy prawns. Prawns made out of soy because there's no pulling <laughs> out digestive so, tracts. Do they put soy poo in them just for think, authenticity? You don't. That's you the can't problem. Te- you can't tell whether the black track's there, can you? <laughs> it's, it's but don't eat soy with them. Either eat plum sauce or oyster sauce or what I use is a bit of taramasalata. You know, that... Um, Cod's row, it's usually pink. Mm. It's because mm-hmm. it's dyed. And so if you have a look at your shit in the morning, it's usually pink too. You're it's a cultured a man, worry. and that's why we love you. Peter Russell Clark, great catching up with you, mate. And yous too. See ya. <laughs>